Linux for beginners. So you heard about it and probably are eager to try it. It's free, there is a lot of free apps and there is no restrictions for customizability. You're basically in a jackpot, isn't it? Well, as always, there is a but. This one is serious topic before you delve into Linux. From my experience, I saw so many students who tried it and burn with the Linux. And after that they hated it. Not because they do not understand computers or they are lazy, not at all. All of them share common mistakes. And these ones are really important to address before you try Linux. Or you're bound to fail, most likely. First, do not expect Linux work like Windows. Second, if you address issues in the forums for your own problems in Linux, do not expect the same support you will get from the Microsoft. Difference is that the Linux community is enthusiast who shares the same platform as you do. There are no paid workers. Third, compatibility. Fourth, biggest mistake are 100% all in Linux. In this video, I will show you the ways how to ease into Linux world and at the same time not lose your workflow. And eventually you will see that you will grow with the experience enough that it will be easy for you to use Linux more and more. So before you start downloading and installing something, you have to understand some things about distributions and Linux in general. There is a lot of distributions in Linux community. Uh, let's see, for example, Debian. Debian holds really a uh, huge amount of distributions and from Debian there comes one huge branch as Ubuntu and Ubuntu itself is a really huge branch of distributions. So you have to understand in which Linux uh, distribution branch you are into. And after that you have to decide or you go with this type of Linux distribu distribution or you uh, go with another ones. Uh, why it's important? Because the same branch distributions shares the same solutions often. Chances for uh, most popular distributions uh, to see the solution on your problem is a lot more bigger than uh, using less populated uh, Linux distribution. So you choose your first distribution. For example, it will be Mint. You write Mint and you find your distribution you are using, Linux Mint. And as we can see, it's part of Ubuntu. So as well, it's part of Debian. So it's a really good choice because some solutions from Ubuntu and Debian might work on Linux Mint. It's not always the case, but it's a big possibility. In order to download Linux Mint, you just write Linux Mint, press enter and the first link you will see be the Linux Mint homepage. Press on Linux Mint homepage, then locate button download. After download button, you can see three different editions. Cinnamon edition, Mate edition and X-Force edition. These are only graphical interface, different interfaces, but the distribution stays the same. You can try it each of those and choose which one ever you like the best. I will choose the Cinnamon edition. After choosing your edition, you can uh, choose the mirror from which you want to download. Now that you downloaded your ISO for Linux, uh, you have to create a bootable CD or USB flash drive. I will show you how to create bootable USB. For that you need tool Rufus. You just type Rufus and there is already option to click on Rufus download. Do that. And you can download Rufus. If you can't see exactly like uh, I see in here, you can click on Rufus official website. And then scroll down 
and you can download Rufus installer or portable version. Difference between, between those two are in one version you have to download and install it, portable version you just download and run it without installation. I will use a portable version. Now run it. Now be careful in this step, choose your uh, USB drive carefully because in this process your USB flash drive will be deleted and formatted so be sh sure that you ch choose the right letter for your USB drive. In this case it's G. Choose your ISO. Now in here you can change the name of your USB flash drive when it will be installed. If you agree with all these changes, press start. Press OK, press yes, you agree that you will format your uh, USB flash drive and OK. And after that you are good to go. Close the program. The first easy solution for Linux users and uh, tryout experience will be not installing but just trying the Linux without installing. It's possible, you just create your USB media or a CD and then boot from these uh, media devices and try it there. This experience is well known as a live CD experience. Let's try to do it now. As you can see, I have my CD disk inserted in my computer. Let's restart it. Now you see that this is a grab loader and in here you can see you have an option to boot from local drive and this will boot my windows uh, as it would normally without bootable media. But uh, if you want to try Linux, start Linux Mint now. Remember, from booting your uh, media, you have to change boot order options in your BIOS. Here are some few examples. And for some computers, there are boot options, which allows you to boot from different media without configuring BIOS. Here are a few examples. By the way, you can use this installation media uh, for your hardware check as well, so it's really useful besides testing Linux. Let's try Linux now So this is a testing environment for Linux as you can see uh, you can browse through folders you can even access your your hard drive contents with no problem and so for all trivial actions that you can imagine using this testing platform you can use Linux. The learning curve for these trivial tasks will be a lot more less than if you will go full on Linux. Let's say for example you are experienced enough to make an installation. Still I suggest you to leave your home operating system unattached. Add additional hard drive or additional partition for Linux. Don't erase your previous workflow experience. So let's try installing now besides Windows. Let's double tap, choose your language, your keyboard layout, installation media codexes. And in here you have to be uh, really careful. You can choose install Mint along Windows 10 but in here I will choose something else and in here as you can see I have my Windows 10 and the second hard drive create a new partition table yes go ahead and in this new partition table create a, a new swappable the rule of thumb for swappable uh, uh, file system is that you need to use approximately 10% or more of your RAM size. So I have an 8 gigabytes of RAM, so it will be approximately 800 uh, swap area partition size. And besides that, we are creating uh, partition XT4 with a root. After you created those two partitions, 
Now install Linux on it. It warns you that it will erase everything on those two partitions, uh, obviously on the hard drive as well. So if you agree to manually format and delete every everything on this hard drive, then you can do it. Choose your region, choose your name. Difference between Linux and Windows. In Linux, you have to type your password And here you can pre uh, choose continue testing or restart now. When you press restart now, the following prompt will show. Please uh, remove installation media, then press enter. Now you can see you are greeted with grub loader to run Windows 10 or Linux Mint. And this is a really good uh, way how to test both systems without interrupting your normal workflow. Now you are good to go. Linux is installed, your Windows is up and running. Run two operating systems in one computer side by side. Try to test this platform with live CD or virtual machine and if you are really advanced then uh, try dual booting. Keep it in mind that sometimes with dual boot options it can be problematic sometimes. So in Linux file system is quite different from Windows file system. First things first, uh, in Linux there comes a slash, then a user, home folder, username and then in this home user folder you can find doc uh, desktop, documents, downloads, music, picture, public templates, videos. And each user will contain different uh, documents, different downloads, and so on and so forth. It's similar as it is in Windows, but still you have to remember, in Linux everything starts from root. Software experience in Linux is quite similar as it is in Apple devices. In Android devices you have to find your software distribution platform and then look for it and download it. Let's try it now. For example, in Linux, it's Software Manager. You launch it, then you ask your, uh, find your uh, interested uh, software that you wanna find. You can write it down all up here. For example, let's try Gparted. Install now, R type your password, authenticate. You can launch it directly from here, like so, or you can launch it from here you can return to your uh, windows anytime and now choose windows and now you are back to your windows environment i hope this video was helpful see you next time